buddy. <laughs> <laughs> a dignified start, as always. <laughs> Is it, is it, Tom, is it too late for us to change the official name of Hellfire comes to Yeah Buddy? <laughs> yeah Buddy commentaries. No, no, just, no, no, Tom, Tom, just Yeah Buddy. We'll get back to Yeah Buddy. I thought it was <laughs> Chair Buddy. Yeah, just Yeah Buddy. Uh, I love, I love the That's image of the, of the death egg in, in a scene like that. It's geniuses. No, I did say there weren't going to be any bonus stages, but well, I guess I'll have to show some off, because as you can see, I'm You cross. lying piece of shit! <laughs> Where are, where are you? The South Pole. You sound really far away. <laughs> oh, that was um, that was actually Ben in Sega of Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom, please tell me, please tell me you didn't just come in here so you could get enough rings to become hypersonic to defeat Knuckles. Fuck you! Are you that bad at this game? You need hypersonic to defeat Knuckles, the easiest boss in this franchise's history. Well, you know, I like to think of it as bookending the Sonic and Knuckles rivalry. You know, we arrived here at Angel Island. He took the Chaos Emeralds, knocked me out of Supersonic. I take the Emeralds back, I go hypersonic, I beat the ever loving shit out of him. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Now, from the story in the background, you, you get certain things like in um, that that stone tablet is kind of referenced kind of again in, in SA1 and in manuals in like Sonic Battle where it talks about that Gerald Robotnik design the design of Shadow based off Supersonic. Oh no, without the power of the Master Emerald, they all become grey. Uh, Eggman, give Knuckles back his Master Emerald. I've got rock tomorrow. Whoa. Well, I'll just believe it now. Actually, you know, now that I think about that, in the Sonic Advance 2 manual, they said back in the day they were going to make a, a a boss with a flaming skull or something, and they rejected it because they said something like, oh, that's just something you don't show. You don't show Sonic Skeleton, but it, you can show Knuckles. Because <laughs> at this point, no one gave a shit about Knuckles, and kind of true to their word, to this day, Sega don't really give a shit about Knuckles, so nothing's changed. Okay, and... uh Welcome back to Hellfire Comms, where we go to the Sky Sanctuary. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> I was like, this image of the Death Egg Rising, like, these, these Egg Robos look massive by comparison now. Because the size of the Death Egg is, these look like fucking giants compared to the Death Egg. Look at it. And when you see them, oh, well, they're just barely taller than Sonic. <laughs> yeah, buddy. They're, they're growers, not showers. Yeah, buddy. If you actually ducked at a certain spot next to Knuckles right there, he would wave Sonic and Tails off, like, go, go without me. Oh, really? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I got no time to stop and wait for character animations. Gotta go fast. It, this is kind of the, the, the second moment in Sonic's playthrough of this game that I just, when the first time playing it, I just assumed I've left Knuckles for dead. <laughs> yeah, buddy, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Yeah, buddy commentaries. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Tom, Tom, please, please change the name. I like how these structures, they've just been like floating in the sky, just waiting for Sonic to jump on them so they can fall apart and fall. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Now, I know everyone hated the rehashed bosses in um, Sonic for Episode 1, but Sonic Team did it first. Fuck you, Sonic Team. Yeah, buddy. I love this. It's a great tribute to the first two games. Yeah, they did it so much better than Dimps would. Well, actually, you say that, but Dims did something very similar in the end of Sonic Advance, which was pretty much pretty much like this. Before you fight the final boss, you fight two uh, machines from uh, Sonic 1 and, and Sonic 2. Yeah, buddy. And that was awesome. But in Sonic 4, it's just every single every single boss in the game. It's just a rehash. I like how Tom has, has used the Hyper Slash Super Sonic to destroy every pointless boss in, in this game, but not the, you know one of the most pointless bosses in the entire franchise, the Green Hill Zone boss. What was that with that, Tom? Yeah, buddy. Now, that one I can do without taking a hit. The one coming up, I have never been able to do properly. So so you, you, you can defeat the Green Hill Zone boss without taking a hit, but you can't defeat Knuckles without taking a hit. Boy, you suck. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much? <laughs> I like um, Sky Sangry, but if I was asked to rate like my top, say, five zones in this entire game, the level itself probably wouldn't reach my top five, but the music track might. How about you guys? Mm -hmm. And I love the remix they gave it in Generations, too. Yeah, the remix is pretty good. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, buddy, to that. 
the the modern remixing generations that use of bass is so yeah buddy tastic it just makes you want to go yeah buddy I hate every single one of you especially you sky <laughs> <laughs>